Right champ, so today I'm giving you a step-by-step -step game plan to uncover your destiny and live a life of true freedom, fulfillment and purpose. So like I legit think this could be the most important video that like many of you ever watch. So I hope you enjoy it. And if you do, hit it with a like, leave a comment and let me know if this is actually helping people out. And if you haven't already, make sure to subscribe and I hope you enjoy. Right team, so today we are talking about finding your destiny. So you're gonna learn how to find your ultimate purpose, mission and destiny in just three simple steps, how to uncover your entrepreneur genius, inner genius, and how to find your niche of one. That is what you're gonna to learn today. So most importantly though, how if you go through these exercises, you will transform the trajectory of your life. So this is one of the videos, this is part three of the Solopreneurship 101 series on my YouTube channel. Um, you'll have access to the other ones and this is all about finding your mission and uncovering your dis destiny. Uh, we've got some cool ones coming up. Next time we've got building a content machine, how to get clients as a one person business, how to make transformations in a coaching or consulting business, talking about numbers, how it's just simply just a numbers game. And then ultimately the point of accountability and paying for success. So who am I, if you're new here? Uh, my name's Tom, I'm the founder and CEO of Creator Launch. We help ambitious people who either want to be their own boss by starting their own 10 to 30K per month coaching or consulting business, or take their existing business to the next level with our simplified six-figure success protocol. Our mission is to make business simple and inevitable so that you can build the freedom and the dream life that you see other people living on social media. So we teach you how to craft, market, and deliver world-class high ticket coaching and consulting. And if you'd like to know and find out more about how we help people, click on the link in the description. Uh, we've got a short free training that takes you through our entire methodology, no secrets held back. Uh, so look, we work with dozens of people doing loads of different cool things. We've got copywriters, audience builders, tech consultants, movement coaches, productivity coaches, podcast consultants, publishing specialists, Amazon FBA coaches. We've got everything. So if you have an ex expertise, if you have knowledge, if you have any sort of um, high impact skill that you can help people with, you can package it up into a consulting and coaching offer and get your freedom. So today we're talking about finding your purpose, mission, and destiny. The truth is we don't get taught this stuff for a reason. Like, have you ever wondered why you've never thought about this stuff before? Like, what is your mission? What is your purpose? What is your destiny? You think the world wants you to uncover this shit? It doesn't. So to question why we are actually here on earth is something we never do until now. So what is our purpose? What is our mission? What is our destiny? Look, I'm, I was, I was 33 years old. It was a few years ago when I learned this concept, but by going through these simple exercises, like my life has transformed. I live a life that I love and enjoy, and I have freedom to do whatever the hell I want every day. And most importantly, I get to actually help people and have an impact with the work I do every day, which is sick. So I now know exactly what my purpose is, but most importantly, I now know how I can monetize my purpose in a way that is ethical, scalable, and interesting. But most importantly, fun as hell, because why the hell don't we, we want to have fun, right? Like otherwise, what the hell is, what the, hell is the point? We want to have fun. So recently defining these three elements has transformed the trajectory of my life. Understanding my mission and my purpose and mission, gaining clarity on my vision and practicing and visualizing it, believing I'm capable, worthy, and that success is inevitable given a long enough time horizon and stretching out your goals to multiple years instead of just months. Cool. So look, for you to push through the inevitable challenges that solopreneurship throws at you, you must develop a mindset that not only makes you believe you will get to where you want to go and that you're worthy, but in fact, you must develop your mind to believe that those dreams have already come true. So I've worked with dozens of clients and this is extremely common, especially if they're older, that they have just flat out given up on dreaming. They've never done it. They haven't done it for probably since they were a five-year-old kid. But as soon as I give them the permission and the freedom to start dreaming again about the things they would love to do, things that they would love to see, 
things that they would love to have, which I think is really important to have those things clear. But critically, instead of just dreaming about it, dreaming as if it has actually happened already. So look, their confidence completely changes once they get over this kind of like understanding that in fact they are living their dream life and these dreams have come true and they are reality. Now, in my opinion, that's frankly the number one benefit of working with a coach, someone like me, just having someone in your corner, being able to tell them that they believe in you. Like, when have you ever had that? Like when? Yeah, it doesn't happen. So there are no secrets in this world. Some like lunatics like to think there are secrets. There ain't any secrets. There are simply, there is simply information you know and information you don't yet know. All information is freely available due to the internet, but having someone tell you that they believe in you, that is truly priceless, truly priceless. So before you start the dreaming process, I would like to remind you one fact of this global machine that some idiots like to call the matrix that we live in. Money is an infinite resource, infinite. When money is infinite, you need to forget that when you get more of it, it takes it from someone else because it doesn't, it doesn't work that way. Money is just an energy. Money is just an energy. It needs to flow. And look, until the sun dies or we get wiped out by an asteroid, it is going to remain an infinite resource. Okay. It just add more numbers, just add more numbers onto the Excel sheet or okay. Like it's taken me 10 years to learn this and to change my relationship with money. And my mindset is simple now. I just think in milestones. So what information do I need to learn to make a hundred K per month? And I go get that information, go pay for that information. I get coaches, mentors, and get programs and learn all of the nuances and intricacies to get me to there. Then what do I need to learn to make 1 million per month? Because damn straight, there are people out there doing it and they ain't no smarter than me. So I'm going to go learn those skills next. And then what do I need to learn to make 10 million per month? Because again, people out there, you know, they've done it before. Why can't I? And the truth is this just keeps on going. And that is why like Alex Hormozy, he calls it the game because the game doesn't have an end. The game doesn't have an end. Like you can always, it's just a case of learning what are, what are the rules for the next level? Okay. And look, do you know the answer to all of those questions are all the same to, to make that much money per month. It's all the same. This is what the biggest, the wealthiest people in the world have figured out. You just have to serve others. You just have to serve and help others, no matter who it is. Jeff Bezos with Amazon, he's just helping people get shit, get shit faster. Like Elon Musk with Tesla is just helping people get places faster, more economically, right? They just figured it out how to do it on a massive scale. So you do this by helping transform people's lives through the three eternal markets, health, wealth, and relationships. Okay. And the numbers, they're just a 10 X factor of how many lives you transform. Like that's all it is. So I no longer play a money game. I don't play the money game. The game that I play, I now play the, how many lives can I transform game? That's, that's the game I now play. So this is my invitation for you to join me in that game and become another player in the game alongside me. And it all starts by finding out how you will transform people's lives. It starts with the Japanese concept called Ikigai. Again, like I said, I found this shit out like only a few years ago when I was like 33. And some of you might be watching this and you might be a teenager. Like think about the advantage that you have over someone like me, the access to information that we did. I didn't have when I was a teenager, didn't have this until I was in my thirties. So Ikigai, Ikigai is the Japanese concept that refers to a person's reason for being or reason d'etre, the French version. It is at the middle of what you love, what the world needs, what you can be paid for and what you're good at. So this is your passion, your mission, your vocation, and your profession. You, your Ikigai. That is what this is. Okay. So 
what you love, what the world needs, what you can be paid for and what you're good at. And the idea behind Ikigai is that it's the person's most fulfilling and satisfying work will be at that intersection. It will be here when you figure out all of these things that make up you. Like some of you may have a clear sense of their, you know, your purpose from a young age, some people, but for most, which includes me, they find their Ikigai through a process of trial and error. Okay. And this can take many years, many, many years. And that's a good thing because life is about experiencing stuff. It's not about finding out, you know, it'd be boring if it was like, okay, you're just going to do this for the rest of your life. It's not the case. Like here's my guy. Okay. So what I love, I love technology. I love business. I love entrepreneurship. I love creating. And I also love helping people. I always have. That's why I was a dentist. That's why I went into medicine. So what the world needs, it needs technology, it needs economy, it needs enterprises, it needs content. Okay. What can I be paid for? I can be paid for helping people build life transforming one person businesses. Okay. And what are you good at sales, marketing, and digital experiences? And that's actually putting it, I mean, there's a ton of micro skills that I've learned in here, video production, photography, content creation like DMS appointment setting, working for businesses and closing like hundred thousand dollar deals, like all of these skills that I've built up over time. So step one, do this damn exercise. Okay. Take one hour to actually consider and write down all the elements of your life that you've never considered before and find your Ikigai. Okay. Go do that. Go do that. Next up, finding your entrepreneurial inner genius. Now this is taken from one of the mandatory reading resources for my students at Creator Launch. And it is the Millionaire Master Plan by Roger Hamilton. And this is the financial plan for you as an entrepreneur. You don't need anything else. Just fucking get this. Okay. Just get this and follow it. So every single person has their own type of genius. And there are four types of genius that we're going to go through, but understanding your inner genius is the key to truly unlocking your full potential on the journey from solopreneur to entrepreneur. And just a reminder, solopreneurship is a phase, not a business model. It is the phase you need to go through on the journey from making your side hustle, your main hustle and becoming an entrepreneur. Okay. It is a phase. Okay. So we've got four types of geniuses. We've got dynamo genius, blaze genius, tempo genius, steel genius. Now, some of you will be familiar with the Myers Briggs test, which is basically a personality test that helps you uncover like who you are. This is just a much simpler and much more impactful way of using the Myers Briggs test. And this is one of the tests that I get my students to do and I go through with them so that we can uncover this. So let's start off with dynamo geniuses. So dynamo geniuses are the creative thinkers and the innovators, innovators, creative thinkers and the innovators, the Elon Musks, the Richard Bransons, the Steve Jobs, the visionaries, they are the, they're full of ideas, enthusiasm, and vision, often charismatic and excel at generating new concepts and solutions. Typically kind of maybe st step on the ADHD side of the spectrum, which is why they need to work with others. So dynamos can inspire and lead teams with their innovative ideas, but they need to collaborate with other geniuses to bring their ideas to life, specifically blaze type geniuses to help actually get their ideas into reality and with steel geniuses for structure and organization and scale. Okay. So famous dynamo examples, Steve Jobs, Elon Musk, Richard Branson, classic, like the visionary, the trillionaires. So, you know, what you need to be, if you're a trillionaire, if you want to be a trillionaire, we then got blaze geniuses. So action oriented and thrive on risk taking and experimentation. So we've got Bill Clinton, Oprah Winfrey, Sergey Brin from um, well, that's Larry Page, my bad, from Google. And 
these are typically people who are great communicators. You know, these are action orientated and thrive on risk taking and experimentation. The adaptable, quick decision makers and often use trial and error to succeed. So how they work with others, Blazers work well with the dynamos to implement innovative ideas and with steels for the planning and execution and organizing. So they need the tempo of tempos to manage their energy and maintain a sustainable pace. Now you'll get a bit of a, like you'll, you'll get the understanding here. You need to surround yourself with other people who have complementary skills and geniuses to you. If you just surround yourself with the same types of people, which is what has happened to me in the past, I made them the error of starting businesses with people who share with, they're like this, basically the same version of me. And I'm like, they're like, it feels like it makes sense when you have someone and you're like, you're just like me, you see the world like me and you think, okay, well, that means we must start a business together and it fails because you don't need two of the same people. You need two of the opposite types of people. And ultimately you want to build an organization with all of these geniuses. Okay. We've got steel geniuses. So the Henry Fords, the Zucks, the Tim Cooks. Now this is the genius that I am. Um, so I'm similar to these dorks. So steel is a methodical and structured. They excel at planning, organizing, and implementing ideas efficiently. And they're often risk averse, but maintain a sense of stability. Now, how they work with others, steals complement dynamos. So the Tim Cook to the Steve Jobs, okay? Like that's how that works. You need someone like, like Tim Cook was there when Steve Jobs was the head of Apple and Steve Jobs needed someone like Tim Cook, Tim Cook to be able to drive his ideas and innovations through to reality. So. They also support blazers with structure and benefit from the strategic thinking of thinking of tempos. So yeah, these are the, the Henry Fords, the Zucks, the Tim Cooks. And then finally we've got the tempo genius. So we've got relationship focused, empathetic and excel at team building and communication. So we've got Warren Buffett, Nelson Mandela and Gandhi. So tempos are relationship focused, empathetic, excel at team building and communication. They keep teams harmonious and balanced and focusing on maintaining social connections. So how they work with others, tempos help dynamos and blazers work better together by creating a supportive and co cooperative environment. They're the peacekeepers, like no shit, like pe actual peacekeepers. And they can also assist steals. So people like me, people like Zuck in managing interpersonal relationships with teams. So helping with team management. So how do you uncover your genius? You go take the goddamn test, mate. Go buy the book, The Millionaire Master Plan, and you go take this test. I'll put the link in the description and you will find out which genius you are. And you'll get a sent a video with by Roger who will tell you more about your level of genius and how you can utilize that. Okay. So go take that test. Finally, step three how to discover your niche. Firstly, you don't, you do not discover your niche. Your niche finds you. How? By taking goddamn action, by actually doing stuff, by putting yourself out there into the market at first, by seeing what others are doing, what else others are doing. So looking and researching and seeing what all the, all the other professional fishermen are doing, where they are fishing catching some fish and then you, you go and drop your line next to theirs. Okay. So you don't need to come up with the goddamn one in a billion idea. Just go when you're first starting out, you just go and see what others are doing and you go and put your rod in next to them. And yes, that involves you going and using social media platforms in a different way, like using them to search for other businesses, for other people doing stuff on Instagram, YouTube, and Google, go look and see what's out there. Stop fucking scrolling and just getting like sucked into the vortex, which these platforms are wanting you to go use it for research. Go find out what other people are doing. Go look, act like a professional. Okay. And our, all of our students, they all have their own area of specialty that they help people or businesses with. So here are the, the eight questions 
you need to answer that will help you on your journey to your niche finding you. Okay. So first, if you could do something all day long, what would it be? What would it be? What is your passion? What do you enjoy? For me, it's helping people. And I love creating stuff. I love creating content. I love writing. I love, love the process of creation. So I need to have creation as a big part of my day. What are your past career areas or interests? What have you done in the past? Like, what are your experiences? Like, what have you actually done and achieved? List these out. What obstacles have you successfully overcome? What are your transformations? What are your transformations? Could be financially, health, relationship, anything. Like, what are yours? And what of your life experience could benefit others? So how could your life experiences relate to helping someone else? And what specifically could benefit, could benefit from them? Who specifically could benefit from them? Who is, who are the people? Who are these people? And typically these are people who are just a few steps behind us. What is your unique story? You know, what makes you different from everybody else? Like my story is simple. I like decided I wanted to do medicine at the age of 15 ended up spending the next 10 years learning how to be eventually a surgeon and be a dentist. And that took me 10 years until I realized when I was actually doing it as a job, it sucked. And I didn't, I didn't see the path that I wanted to help and have the impact that I wanted to actually make. That's my story. What's yours? Write it down. What's the biggest benefit clients could get from you? What are the biggest benefits that client clients could get from you? And finally, what would make your life absolutely perfect right now? Like what kind of clients would you want to work with every day? So for me, I only work with the driven, ambitious, hardworking, and fucking people that want to make the most out of life. And that's what makes me wake up in the morning with like, just excitement because I work with winners and I choose to work with the winners. And it's sick. So spend a couple of hours, like actually writing these things down, like get them on paper, like or on a note, like write this shit down, write this shit down. So how to find your purpose, mission, and destiny in three steps. Step one, find your Ikikai, do the exercise, write these lists down, just write endless lists, just think and just write and write and write, get this stuff out there. Step two, unlock your genius, take the test, take the genius test, buy the book. Okay, like I'm not affiliated. I don't get any fucking money from it. Just go do this. Step three, uncover your niche of one and answer the eight questions that I took you through. Okay. But here's the secret. If you want to knock years off your entrepreneurial journey, you need four things to get success. You need four things. You need time. You need to stretch out your imagination and not just assume that you're going to get success today or tomorrow. You need to be thinking years and decades ahead and putting the plan in place to get you there. And what plan is that? Well, the plan of proven systems, like th things that people are doing that are currently winning marketing, sales, strategy, whatever, there's stuff that wins and you have to keep your finger on the pulse and you have to do them and you have to do them consistently, consistently over a long period of time. How do you stay consistent? You stay consistent through accountability. 99.999% of people don't have accountability in their life. And so this never happens. Consistency never happens because they might know the systems, you know, they've got time on this planet, but they have no one holding them accountable. And they have no consistency and without consistency, you're not going to get success. So these are the four elements of success. And if you are fed up of your current situation, like fed up, like you, you know, you want more, you know, you deserve more, but you're fed up of it. You know, that there is a better future waiting for you. Perhaps like me, you hate your job. You hate your bosses and hate your commute, which is what I fucking hated. And if you are serious about gaining clarity on your future, building a business that has real impact, surrounding yourself with a team of other high performers and 
ultimately, most importantly, getting accountability and a proven game plan to build your dream lifestyle, then we take on a handful of new ambitious students each month, only a handful, who already understand that investing in themselves is the cheat code to getting what they want, because it is. Like I interviewed, must've been about 15 of the biggest creators in the world earlier this year. And these are people with hundreds of thousands of followers on social media. The number one, I asked them all the same question. I asked them all the same question. What is the one thing that has led to your success? And they all said, getting a mentor, buying programs, learning through courses. They realize they can just buy themselves to success. And same for me, I've realized it. So I have mentors, I have programs, like, yeah, the shit works. So it, it doesn't need to be complex. And that's what we do. We have a 12 month mentorship program that gets you to 10 to 30 K plus per month with your online coaching or freelance business. And the program is currently $6,000 to join for 12 months, but our promise, our promise is super simple. If you are the right fit for joining our community, by the way, because we don't let everyone in, we love to see if you can be a fit, but for some people, it just doesn't make sense, but our promise is simple. We work with you until you are consistently making 10 to 30 K per month. And we only take people in that are serious and driven to want a better life. Because when you surround yourself with other people like that, it's like, it is just rocket fuel, which is why we're called Creator launch. And we have a little rocket. So look, if that's not you, if that isn't you, I can't help you. Like watch all of my content, stick with this, this, but you will just not, you just, well, I can't help you. But if that is you, then let's connect. Book a free one-to-one -one advisory call with me through the link down in the description of this video. Go click on the link in the description, watch the video about who we are, learn who we are, and then book your call with me. And I look forward to meeting with you and helping you on your path to your destiny. Okay. See you next time, champs.